Alrighty, folks, it's Farrell with Crowd Surfing, and we're down here at Leighton High for Enable Utah and the Bar J Wranglers. Um, I've never seen the Bar J Wranglers before, so uh, maybe we'll talk to some people and find out exactly what's going on. Can I hear your name? Gavin Hutchinson. And Gavin, can you tell me what it is you're doing down here tonight? Tonight we're having uh, brought the Bar J Wranglers in with the help of Get Air Trampoline Park to have a benefit concert for Enable Utah, which uh, we just suffered a devastating fire at one of our facilities. Yeah, I talked to Zeb, and he, he said that the, the insurance deductible was like ninety thousand dollars or something. Yeah, trying to—it's difficult to understand. You know how insurance companies write things. <laughs> uh, what I can say is that so far we are about one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars out of pocket to get our facility back up and running and keep uh, about a dozen individuals with disabilities employed. Alrighty, I am here with Zeb and Natalie. Natalie, I've seen you other places. How'd you get involved with this? Well, I came to work for Enable Utah in September, and so I've been roped into the concert scene once again, and I love it. You, you can't get away from it. I can't. That's okay. Uh -huh. I bet. You meet a lot of cool people, though, right? Yeah, a lot of cool people. All right, can I hear your name? Bob Best. Gay Best. And what is it you guys come out here tonight for? The Bar J Wranglers. <laughs> Who else? Well, yeah. Have you guys, I think you've seen them before then. Third time. Once in Jackson, four years ago in Arizona. We really love them. Really. What is it that, that you guys do down there? Uh, at this facility, we actually shred paper. We have a secure document shredding site. We shred paper for the federal government, state government, a uh, number of different organizations, uh, commercial organizations. Very good. So, and I think Zeb something about they have like job coaches and people that go out and help. And Yeah, we have, you know, so what we do is we provide um, individuals with disabilities, employment training, employment opportunities, and then try and get them community-based employment. We will have uh, to any business or industry that wants to uh, talk about employing an individual with disability, we provide job coaches to help them learn how to do the job, uh, to, to be that intermediary between the company and the, um, the, the disabled individual. Zeb, we meet again, right? We talked to the man? studio. <laughs> Good. So how much stress is there involved with getting this together? None, because I make Natalie do everything. I, I was just going to say, <laughs> if you're smart, you'd make Natalie do it all. Yep. No, Natalie's like, she keeps me going, man. She keeps my, uh, she keeps everything in line. Don't make her mad. Uh, that's the goal. <laughs> that's the goal. No, yeah. Um, no, that's actually been really fun. I was kind of kind of stressed about doing an event. I kind of stress out about events, but Bar J is really fun to work with. They're really cool. And everyone's stepped up, especially our sponsors. So. What kind of a show is it? Is it just straight Western music? or? Oh, it's very entertaining. They tell stories and... Yeah, they keep you laughing. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's 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 the fun. Music is fantastic. Is it? Because we got uh, what that were CDs, but they're very very good. Very good. All righty. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. The one thing I can oh, say is here we, here, here we are at the Bar J. It's country western, and and you're not looking very country western. So you got to put on this 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 uh, cowboy neckerchief. I don't. Well, can you hold this for a minute? I sure can. And please don't use it as a uh, as a tissue or, or a do rag. I mean, you can use it. You can use it as a uh, at a bib at a lobster restaurant. I was, I was gonna I was gonna actually I was gonna make it a do rag. They told me not to. I'll have to. I mean, I just tuck it in like a like a bib. There you go. So is this the first event you like ever done with with Enable? Yeah. Yeah. And so far it's been okay. So far it's not been too bad for me. I mean, ignorance is bliss. I think the people that have to help me out and manage me might be a little stressed at times, but no, it's been a good good experience. So, so how's it been? Has it been tough? No, it's been pretty good. We've had really good support from our sponsors and really good work from Zeb and everybody stepped up and the Bar J Wranglers came in to help us out and we're really thrilled and and as you can you know, see when you came in, people are lined up outside the door waiting for yeah. us to open. They're all ready to come in. It's like, Inside. yeah, <laughs> it's like that commercial they used to have for the Black Friday. Or no, it was R.C. Willys had the sale where they were beating on the door and no one wanted to open it up. Right. Hey, that's one of right. our sponsors. Good Is job, it? man. Yeah, good oh. job. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks so much for talking to me. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, thanks for coming out, man. Thank you. I, I've seen, I've never seen them. I've seen pictures of them. It oh, seems yeah. like I would need a lot of facial hair and mustache wax to fit in. No, you're in for a treat if you have not seen them. <laughs> really? They're very yeah. entertaining. Very good. So they played in Jackson, Jackson Hole, right? Uh, that's where they're from. They're from Wilson. Oh, are they? They're just out of Jackson, and they have a chuck wagon anyway they used to, and enter, it was a chuck wagon, have dinner, and then they'd entertain us. Well, that's that's perfect. Dinner and a, oh, dinner yeah. and a show. Oh, 
couldn't be any better. It was fantastic. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, I'll let you get to your seats, but thank you so much for talking to me. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much. Hey, real, real quick, if anybody's interested in in donating or helping out with Enable, uh, uh, what, what where, where's, where's a website they can look at? Or? If, if you want to go to www.enableutah.org. Uh, we've got all the information on there. We also have information about our uh, summer concert that uh, is coming up July 14th at the Ogden Amphitheater. Very good. All right, thank you very much for talking with me. Thank you. All right, I'm here with the Bar J Wranglers, and I don't know your name, so I always ask everybody, because I know, I know the band's name, of course, but not yours individually. What's your name? Absolutely. I'm Scott Humphrey, Scott. and my brother Brian Humphrey. Mm -hmm. We've taken over our business from our dad, Babe Humphrey, who started our, the Bar J Wranglers uh, about 40 years ago. Yep. Oh, really? So you guys have been around for a minute. So we've been just a minute or two, absolutely. <laughs> this isn't your first show. It ain't our first rodeo, <laughs> that's right. One, <laughs> All right, can I hear your names? I'm Terry Kilburn, Debbie Duke. And I'm taking it you've seen the Bar J Wranglers before. Many times, Many times. <laughs> but it's never enough. <laughs> Maybe you just get them to come play your backyard barbecue this year or so. I, I, I'd, love, I'd love to come have dinner every week. <laughs> All right, can I get your name? My name's Jared. And Jared, you had like... Well, they're gone now. I was going to make a comment about you had like this big thing of programs. You're the, you're the designated program holder. Yeah, I'm the designated program holder. You're like the guy at church that hands out the programs. Kind of, yeah. I'm a little more friendly, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, those people have always been nice to me. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are here because it's for Enable Industries. You guys do a lot of stuff with Enable or, uh, or Enable Utah? Enable Utah now, yeah. It was back when it was Enable mm -hmm. Industries. We uh, here in Ogden did a lot of fundraising for them. I'm guessing maybe 12 to 15 years ago, maybe more. Yeah. The time's been flying. Mm -hmm. um, and then we kind of branched off and started doing Christmas concerts in the area. Uh, we got a big doings in Heber City, Utah, every fall with the Heber City Cowboy Poetry Gathering, and that kind of limited our Western shows in the area. Uh, I've talked to the folks at Enable about maybe doing something in the spring. Uh, we have a lot more availability in the spring. We're getting geared up for our summer season. Once we hit Jackson Hole, we're going seven nights a week all summer long. So that's our home base, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, the Bar J Chuck Wagon. And uh, that's kind of what where we got our roots. So what is it that, that, appeal, that, that you appeals to them that you like so much? Well, Babe, the dad, who's not with them much anymore, um, you just feel the family love that he has for his sons and the whole group. Really? Yeah, it's, you just... So you guys are like super fans. You have like all the CDs and, and the yeah. T-shirts. Really? Yeah. How did you get so fortunate to get such a great job of handing out uh, programs? I happen to work with Zeb, the organizer of the concert, yep. So you're here working, and he's just over there just just kicking back, got his feet up. You know, I, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> so. Tell him you need a promotion if you're going to do this kind of work. I should, huh? I, I, would. I don't know. If you're in... in Jackson Hole in the wintertime, you're not getting out. You're stuck there for a couple months, aren't you? That's right. We have a fearless driver. My brother takes the reins and pulls the trailer, and we travel this in the wintertime. Was something else. Well, so got, this winter, yeah, it really was. We got dumped with a lot of snow, and so. Have you ever, that brings you a good question, have you guys ever, like, not made a show because of the weather? Not yet. Not because of the weather. Not yet. Not because of the weather, anyway, huh? <laughs> We've uh, had a pretty good run. I've been singing cowboy songs a lot of years, and, uh, just old Western music, it's a different style than a lot of people. Uh, it's not country. Uh, yeah. It's old Western, a lot, of, a lot of vocal harmonies and instrumentation. How many shows have you seen? Oh, uh, I think I've probably seen about six. I'm, I'm thinking I've seen upwards of 20. <laughs> oh, really? So you guys are kind of like the Grateful Dead people. They just follow them around, right? On a bus, you just follow them to every show. Oh, we've well, been up to Jackson that many times to see us. <laughs> <laughs> Drive all the way to Jackson Hole, huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I've never seen them before, so... It, in for a treat. Thing. I was going to say, so it must be in for a treat because... Yeah, not only do they sing and play beautiful music, but they're funny, too. Oh, right. Yeah, you'll... Oh, I'll fit right in, then. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you. So, have you seen the Bar J Wranglers before? I have never actually seen the Bar J Wranglers before. Oh. Yeah. I haven't either, so I'm, I'm kind of interested. People say it's like... Western music and comedy and right, yeah, that's what I heard. I've listened to some of their music and I like their music, so pretty cool. I think they have some playing back there now. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, pretty good. All righty, well, I'll let you get back to hand out your flyers, but okay. thanks so much for talking with me. Thank you. I always in people that if anybody watches this show, that is people that watch this show probably get tired of hearing this. But I had an uncle. He was in the old time fiddlers. 
And we used to go camping a lot up in Idaho and you go to those campgrounds and he'd get there with his guitar and he'd get a fiddle player with him and get someone with the banjo or the bass. And holy smokes, like people were bringing their lawn chairs and going over and sitting down and it's, it's always good. Yeah, real contagious. Our fiddle player grew up in just that atmosphere. He uh, was a seven-time Idaho State fiddle champion before he branched out and then he went national and won some competitions. And uh, we're blessed to have him, Tim Hodson, our fiddling man. He's been with us. Oh, about 28 years, I think, so it's, uh, yeah. All right, can I get your name? Dan. Hi. Rick. And how did you guys get uh, um, roped into coming down here and doing a ticket? Um, my mother-in-law, future mother-in-law, works for Enable Utah, so. Oh, it's one of those things you have to do it. Exactly, yeah, you know. <laughs> and I, how about you? I'm his dad, and I was offered to come listen to the concert. Oh, so you, yeah, so you have to do it as well. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, can I get your name? Shirley Bergstrom. And you were just telling me that you saw them nine times in one year. Yes, twice in Jackson and then at several different schools in the area. Really? Mm-hmm. It, it, it seems odd to me that someone would go to Jackson Hole to see a concert, but then I think... There's people that follow bands all over the world, so it's really not that odd. Well, they have a good meal up there, too. Is that what it is? That's, that's what somebody said. They have, like, they have like dinner and then a show. And mm-hmm. Oh, I grew up in Idaho, and I was going to say, well, you're the Idaho champion. Who cares about that? But then he said he's a national champion, <laughs> yeah. so it means something. It branched off. He, he knows all the, the names of the folks that uh, generally tour around the country and hit these fiddle contests. Mm-hmm. It's uh, quite a lifestyle. So... I, since you guys are from Wyoming, I had a question. I have to go to Buffalo, Wyoming this, this summer. What's in Buffalo? I was going to say, what's in Buffalo, Wyoming? It's That's good country. It's the other side of the Bighorn Mountain Range, just south of Sheridan there. And it's, yeah, uh, yeah good wildlife. That's a banana belt of Wyoming. So The, the banana belt. <laughs> How did that name come about? <laughs> well, the temperatures are generally 20, 30 degrees warmer than the rest of the state. So and That's what I was worried about because I, I, I'm doing a wedding, and I was like, it's going to be me two feet of snow in June up there. <laughs> not not in that country. You'll, said, really? you'll enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Very good. All right, you guys. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for talking with me. Our pleasure. Thank come you. and see us in Jackson. So have you heard him before? About five or six times. Oh, really? It seems, you know what? It seems like a lot of people I talk to, they're not like, oh, I've seen him once. But they're like, oh, no, we've seen him four or five times. Oh, yeah. they're, they're great. I talked to some woman earlier. She said she saw him seven times one year. Yeah. And I've seen him a few times in the same year before, but oh, yeah. they're nice. And how about you? Have you seen him? Nope. Really? Nope. So it'll be first tonight? First time. I've never seen him either, but apparently it's going to be a great show because everybody just... Says great things, but it's not. It's not like oh, they're all right. They're fun. They're like oh, they're so wonderful. Yeah, everyone that I've t- heard, you know, that have been to them, have nothing bad to say. They're great. Yeah, not, not even anything mediocre to say. It's oh, like wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. And what's nice is uh, all of the performers are the ones that serve the meal. Really? Oh, that's great. So they have to like take care of you before they go up and entertain you. Exactly. That's what they do. That's a great deal, all except for the part where the entertainers feed you, because if we did something like that, Bill would make me feed everybody. <laughs> and I'm not that entertaining, honestly, so that would <laughs> that would cave in twice on him. <laughs> all righty, well, thank you very much for talking with me. Oh, you're welcome. All righty, the Bar J Wranglers, what a bunch of good guys. Also, Enable Utah, that's a great organization. You should get out and support Enable Utah as much as you can. Um, They're going to be a big show coming up here in the next couple of months, and we'll be sure to cover that. So I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.